Murray, Murray Tyrrell was known as sort of the mouth of the hunter, and uh, he was uh, very, very did a very good job of, of um, bringing people to the Hunter Valley and trying the wines and, and getting out there. That's why he's known as sort of the mouth of the hunter, um, because he literally was a voice for the Hunter Valley, and, and he did a very, very good job of it. But uh, one of my favourite stories that I've heard about uh, young Murray Tyrrell is. Uh, Back in the sort of 1960s, no one was making straight Chardonnay in Australia. Uh, they were only using Chardonnay vines to make um, sparkling wines. So Chardonnay and Pinot Noir blend to make you know, champagne style sparkling wines. Um, now there's one company, I won't uh, name who it is, uh, but Murray asked years and, for years and years, he kept asking, can I please buy some clippings off here to plant some Chardonnay grapes? Uh, for his for himself, um, and they kept denying him, kept denying him, kept denying him. So one night um, he decided to get on his horse and sort of jump the fence and take a couple of clippings and um, planted it for himself. Uh, a couple of years later, he made the first straight Chardonnay in Australia. So he was pretty much the pioneer of Chardonnay, which then turned out to be the biggest selling white wine in Australia, varietal wise. Years, decades or less. So. True, true story. Um, it was over a couple of nights and a few thousand cones. Uh, there we go. Uh, but we still, we still got letters um, from from Peter Lehman, Max Schubert, who was the guy who invented grains, like all these famous winemakers. And part of my language, you know, like, oh, Murray, you dickhead. No one's ever going to drink white wine in Manly Wood. You're an idiot. Why would you get that? That's why we kept what happened. Yeah. So, Australia, as an industry now, we make 50 million cases of Chardonnay here. A lot. But in 1971, there was 248. One barrel.